Hey guys, Music Man here back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you more of my Bloody Queen ranked gameplay. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So as you can see, we are at Hospital. And that's the persona I like to use. And I'm just showing you all the survivors here. Um, so right now, I'm just, I've, I find the thief right there. And he's going to make his way into ruins. Um, for those of you that don't know, Ruins is one of the strongest places for a survivor to kite in this particular map. Now, right now, I'm just going to be following all the footprints. And I personally think he should have stayed in, um, stayed in the Ruins instead of trying to lose me there. But anyways, I'm going to place my mirror there, get a nice juicy terror shock there. So now I'm going to be removing the prisoner's um, gadget there so he can't deploy remotely. And now I'm going to be taking the thief to the chair for the first time. Um, so now I'm just looking around for wiggling ciphers. And I'm still looking here, and then I end up finding the prisoner in the ruins. So now I'm just going to use my mirror, see if I can land a lucky hit over here. The environment's not exactly working for me this time. But now the prisoner can't save. Um, so but I'm going to turn around back. I see that the chair is almost halfway. So I've gotten to the point where I've kind of expected someone to try to save by then, but nobody came. I think that was what the prisoner was trying to do. Anyways, the prisoner gets here, I get a nice hit there. I'm surprised that hit, but um, I'm surprised I didn't just hit the tree. But it then, and so now I'm taking prisoner to the chair, and the, the acrobat is coming to save the thief right before the chair ends. So um, he's going to end up getting that save, and I hit the thief. But I know that since the last effort's going, the acrobat's probably going for the chair. So I'm going to be going for the double hit. And I just kind of placed my mirror there to try to corral him in case he was actually trying to get away. But anyways, now I know that the prisoner doesn't have tight and the acrobat um, has already been double hit. So now I'm going to be chasing the prisoner to try to um, get three survivors incapacitated. So now the prisoner is going back onto the chair. Now, I mean, what I did here was all right, although I also could have gone down the path of chasing the thief down because he was dead on chair. But I mean, getting two more survivors on the chair is pretty nice too. So here I'm just kind of looking for the thief. I mean, I'm not gonna get stray too far away from the chairs and I see that the perfumer has made their way here. But now I know that, okay, the prisoner's been down twice. I'm going to try to um, get the... Um, I'm going to try to make sure that he's, um, he's actually down and placed on the chair for the final time. So he kind of knew he wasn't getting anywhere after that. So that's one survivor down. Three ciphers left. I mean, the game's not over, but it is looking favorably to me. So I know the last time I saw survivors were over there, but the perfumer catches my eye. So I was, I was seeing if I could bait the perfume a little bit just by being near. I see that she did perfume and then doubled back. So now I'm hitting the perfume and my mirror image is gone, but she's running in my direction. Now from here, I probably would have tried to run into hospital instead of um, going for these pallets, but anyways, see, cause look, she was put in a really tough situation. I baited that perfume and got the final hit. So now perfumer is on chair so at this point all of the survivors have been on a chair at one point or another so now i know i see the tinnitus is going off in my upper left hand corner and now i'm just gonna hit the acrobat and i'm surprised he didn't actually try to save there but he was a little bit late with that save and i have no idea what the 
thief was doing. But anyways. Yeah. So with a hunter, um, with a thief, what you can really do is you can, can kind of just zigzag your way up to him. The hunter speed, um, the hunter speed is fast enough to the point where you can just kind of run back and forth as the thief is just trying to um, plainly run backwards at you with the flashlight. But I, I usually only use the flashlight if like I um, get a pallet stun on a hunter or if they're breaking a pallet. But anyways, I see the perfumer right there. I'm just taking swings until I hit him, and I eventually do, but I see a thief is here. And I'm a ways away from the chair, so I'm like, okay, patroller. And I see that the chair is almost done. Interrupt the save. Chair goes off. Thief is patrolled. So now there's only two survivors left. See how patroller can be really useful camping there? So, um... It almost looked like it was going to be a juke, but I ended up getting them down in the survivor surrender. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and sub subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comment section below what you thought. Thanks for watching.